um, I'm recording this. <laughs> I'm walking on the street. See, it's concrete on the street. I ain't in nobody's backyard or nobody's yard. I'm walking down the street. And um, <clears throat> I just, uh, this is my initial reactions right after the game. Actually, the game's not over with. <clears throat> um, LeBron James just got checked out. And um, they, uh, you know, they were chanting the MVP and stuff like that. But um, my initial reaction to the game, obviously, I already knew we were going to lose. That's not a, a problem. And it's not about, to me, it's not about getting outscored. It's about getting outplayed. And <clears throat> obviously, I'm upset we lost and stuff. But I wanted at least for us to play hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if we was going to lose the game because I already knew we were going to. I just wanted to put a better effort out there. And Steve Kerr <clears throat> is such a good coach because he has so much experience. You know, he not only played with the greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan, but he was also coached by the greatest coach of all time in Phil Jackson and one of the top five coaches of all time <clears throat> in um, Greg Popovich. And one thing, if you guys don't know about Michael Jordan, he had this thing. Where if he asked somebody, hey, a rookie or a young player, he'd ask them, hey, what, what's the score during the game? And they'd look up and say, oh, the score is this. And, you know, you'd get a fine because you're supposed to say 0-0. Zero, zero. In other words, you don't give a shit about the scoreboard. You just play. <laughs> and if you didn't know any better and you're looking at that game and you couldn't see the scoreboard and you saw the body language, especially in the second half, it looked like the cheaters were, were losing the way they were playing. Now, I'll give it to Larry Nance uh, Jr. He was playing hard, <laughs> but um, he was looking like an idiot in the in the paint when he was missing shots and fumbling the ball. But, um, you know, LeBron James, you know, if anybody thinks that, you know, <sighs> he he's better than Michael Jordan, um, obviously right now he – not looking good for that because he's lost. You know, he's three and six and stuff like that. And he's got another sweep under his belt. <laughs> but I will say this, though. Um, I'm very disappointed in LeBron James' lack of aggression. Um, <clears throat> I know this, and I'm going to talk about this in a video. He's not the same player as Michael Jordan. The closest thing to Jordan since Jordan is Kobe Bryant. He didn't quite reach Michael Jordan's level, but... There will never be a player that will be as much as like Jordan as Kobe. Their mentalities, the scoring um, abilities, their competitive drive, their nastiness, that fight, that dog. And LeBron James lacks that. Um, he just does not have that type of mentality. He's a, He's a facilitator. He's more of a Magic Johnson. If you're going to compare him to anybody, he's, a, he's more of Magic Johnson and Scottie Pippen than he is um, Jordan or Kobe. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean he's not better than Kobe because I believe LeBron um, on the all-time list is, is higher up than Kobe. But Michael Jordan is at the mantle. He's at the top. And LeBron James is not him. So when everybody compares him to, Le to Jordan, it's just not fair to LeBron. And so a lot of people are going to say, man, you need to go out there and kill him, LeBron. He's never been that way. He's never been a killer. He's had really, really good games, but he's just not that way. And tonight you can just see in his body language that he was done, man. Not, the, not to the extent he was in, uh, against Boston in 2010 when he quit on the team, when he found out what's name was messing with his mama or whatever, because he quit then. I'm not talking about that. He absolutely... Um, was uh, without aggression in this game. You know what I mean? He just he just didn't have it. And I just feel like uh, I think it was a combination of a lot of things. One, you're down 3 nothing, and the and the, it's not just losing. It's the type of losing. Just like they say, two points isn't two points. Like when you dunk or Steph Curry hits a three, I know that's three points. But certain plays mean different, has heavier weight to it. And that game one loss hurt him, man. And game three hurt him bad. And he knew they weren't going to win the series. He, he he knew that. So I think he came out and, and did that. 
he played LeBron James basketball at about 75% himself. You know what I mean? He was almost looked like like he was Paul George out there or something, except he was passing more. You know what I mean? Because I say like Paul George is like a 70% of a LeBron James or whatever, but LeBron just didn't have it tonight. <clears throat> I don't know if he ran out of gas or he was just mentally done and fatigue checked out. I think it was all a lot of things mixed in. Um, but the Cavs just, that, that team is just not, you know, and I was going to congratulate them because remember my video earlier, I had said, um, you know, you got to basically, if you win the East, you won the championship. And I was going to come on here and congratulate them and, and make a parody of this video and completely dismiss the cheaters and just congratulate the Cavs for winning the Eastern conference and stuff like that. But I can't do that because of the way they fucking play tonight. It's not because you got outscored, it's because you got out-fucking-played. The 50-50 balls, the hustles, I mean, the stupid plays we were making. It's like, it's one thing to have better talent. There's nothing you can do about that, but you can't let them play harder than you, too. You can't let somebody that's better than you play harder than you. You just can't do it. You got to outwork somebody that's better than you, and they did not do that tonight. I mean, George Hill didn't make anything easy. I mean, didn't didn't give any any resistance to Steph Curry. It was too easy for him, and among other things. But um, you know, I'm not congratulating the cheaters, so you already <laughs> know that. But um, you know, the only drama to that game was who's going to win the Finals MVP. And as I up upload this video, I don't know who did. I'll be honest, because I left when LeBron sat down. They're going MVP, and rightfully so. They should do that. They should get into kiss ass mode, because like Mike Breen said. Um, they know how it is for four years without LeBron and all those years before he was he got there. Um, man, because if you look at that team, even with Kevin Love on that team, you take LeBron James off of it, they literally are a lottery team, not a not a bottom of the playoff team. They are going to the lottery, okay, <laughs> for real. You you've already seen um, Kevin Love lead a team, and they be in the lottery without LeBron James. So for him to bring that team to the finals congratulations i can't take nothing away from them but it's just like sometimes it's like it's not how you start it's how you finish type thing and for him to just completely lay an egg in game fucking four and get swept man it's just like where's your pride at dude you know even if you didn't even if you went out just more aggressive i'm not talking about be like kobe and and, and jordan and you know, shoot yourself out the game, but uh, damn, man, just have more aggression, dude. He was doing the same shit he was getting criticized about before, passing guys over to to, to Kevin Durant to guard him. He didn't want to guard him. He just looked like he was spent and beat, and he was doing silly turnovers and silly plays, and you know that one Steph Curry three and just mental lapses. And I see him yelling at people, and Mark Jackson hit it on the head. Don't tell me about it. Be about it. He's sitting there yelling at everybody on the sideline. Go out there and show them what's up. And uh, I was I was just waiting. It's like, all right, maybe first quarter he's just chilling, and the second quarter he'll do it. He just he just didn't get it. He just didn't get into it, man. So, um, day one of the off season starts tomorrow, and we're gonna we're gonna see. But I'll make some videos uh, and give you my thoughts on the game, more of the game, the finals MVP. I think it's probably gonna be Durant. I, the last time I checked. I think Durant had 19, 18 or 20 points or something like that, and he had a triple-double. And uh, Steph Curry had um, 37 points. So that's going to be close, you know what I mean, be, just because Steph, the way Steph Curry did the first two games and with the nine three-pointers and shit like that. So I don't know who's going to be finals MVP, but as you guys look at this, you already know. So, um, you know, it's late. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, it's, just, it's just disappointing, man, to, to watch your – you know, your favorite player go through the whole season like that and just sit it in the end like that, man. And all, you know, all the great performances LeBron had in this postseason and for him to go through all everything he did in the off season with the with Benedict Arnold, the backstabber leaving, requesting a trade and then getting Isaiah Thomas and all the bullshit and then basically taking a third of the team, leaving and then getting another some more players, so a lot of shit to go through, man, and then all the great playoff moments, the game winners, the buzzer beaters, you know, the spectacular games and stuff like that, and then just have it end, and and you look like a completely different team against 
this cheesy ass fucking <laughs> cheaters, man. It's just NBA's got to do something about this cheater shit, man. It's just bullshit, yo. It's like, come on, man. A sweep in the finals. Who wants to see a fucking sweep? And to be honest, when you're watching that game, it's not even about who's going to win it. You could tell in the first quarter who was going to win the game. All people are worried about is how much are they going to win by, who's going to be the finals MVP. There is no, it was, have put up no threat to the cheaters at all. It almost looked like literally in that second half and parts of that third quarter and some of the fourth quarter, it looked like the Harlem Globetrotters versus the fucking um, Washington Generals or some shit. You know what I mean? So it's disappointing. Um, congratulations to the Cavaliers for making it to the finals, I guess. And then laying an A game four. Um, it's ridiculous. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow, all right? Uh, do me a favor. You know, leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all thought about the game. I'm not going to ask y'all if y'all liked the video. You probably don't because it's dark as shit. Um, but if you do, hey, hit the like button. Um, you know, tell me why in the comment section. And then share it with your friends if they could see it. Uh, but if you don't, you know, it's all good. Just hit the dislike button if you want. Uh, comment and tell me why, you know. Because <sighs> you already know. I don't give a damn. I'll let your boy. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Peace.